Welcome back to the 8th Annual Great Lakes ROV Mate Competition right here in Alpena, Michigan. This annual event is sponsored by Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary and this year we're hosting almost 30 teams from around the Great Lakes region as they battle with their underwater robots in the Alpena Plaza pool. We have uh, a number of teams in the pool right now and also a number of teams in the, the high school gym here preparing their underwater robots, making their posters, doing their engineering tests, all sorts of activity going on here in Alpena, Michigan today. Let's check out the pool right now and see the action at the bottom of the pool. See what the ROVs are up to. So here we have one of the mission stations that we can see. And if you look to the right, that is a simulated World War II shipwreck. We have a diver descending down in the pool here on the left side. And so what the ROVs have to accomplish is to, uh, it's really a number of mission tasks. Oh, it looks like what the diver is doing now is preparing the marine debris field for the ROVs to sample. That particular mission with the marine debris field, they have to go down and test whether those bricks are made of wood, whether they're made of metal. And so a lot of the teams are using um, a magnetic device to determine that, but it was up to the teams. These students design and build their own underwater robots. So we have a number of divers in the water monitoring the missions, making sure things are set up properly. So this mission, the theme this year is dive into history and it's simulating the real world situation that we're faced with today with a number of World War II tankers that are at the bottom of our oceans. One in particular is the SS Montebello, which was sunk in December of 1941 by a single torpedo from a Japanese submarine. This was just two weeks after Pearl Harbor. The Montebello now lies at 900 feet below the ocean surface, just off of Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, one of our sister sites. So looks like there's no ROVs in the water right now. So let's get back to the, to the gym here at the Alpena High School. And I've got a team with me here today, the Sea Shrooms. Come on up, guys. These are the Sea Shrooms from Thunder Bay Junior High. What are your names? Uh, I'm Matt. I'm Aaron. Yes. Okay. Nice to have you guys here. How long have you guys been doing ROVs? Matt and I have been doing it for three years, and this is Allie's first year. Great. And so you guys did your mission already, and you did, you've completed all your tasks for the day, right? How do you, how do you feel? How did you do? Um, we feel that we did really good at the engineering, but when we went poolside, we had some technical difficulties with our thruster. Uh. But, you know, all in all, it was a good day, and we had a lot of fun. Oh, great. And so what, do you guys have any ideas of what you would do differently next time? Definitely not use a loose string. No loose string. Okay. No. Any ideas what to do better next time? Um, probably be a little bit more prepared for everything yeah. and practice a little bit more because we weren't really thinking that that string could do that. Uh, what happened was the string got caught in the thruster, ah. and then we couldn't move it. So we only got five points, but we did pretty good on the engineering interview. So Excellent. Excellent. Well, well done, guys. So do you guys think this is important to be involved in these robotics competitions? What, how do you feel about this? How does it affect your future, do you think? Well... I think this is kind of what companies will look for is young people looking in careers and doing things like this because these are like could be real world situation yeah real world real world situations That's right. That's and so companies probably look for it and right. like awesome that. do you guys think you have a future in underwater exploration uh maybe yeah possibly possibly uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, I, congratulations on your, your missions today, guys, and, and thanks for joining me here today. Let's go back to the pool and see what, what action we've got going down poolside now. Okay. Here we are looking for some ROVs. Here we have the diver, he's arranging these bricks that I was telling you about, the marine debris field. Looks like he's got them all arranged. So what happens with that marine debris field is the judges, the, the students have no idea how that's going to be arranged in the grid. They don't know if there's five metal devices down there or artifacts or if there's five plastic ones. They have no idea. The judges do know. The judges secretly tell the diver to arrange them in a specific pattern. And then those ROVs have to go down and actually test each and every one. 
that's how they gain points. If you look to the right, we see the simulated shipwreck simulating a World War II oil tanker. Now you can see some debris on the side of that shipwreck. Now that's a, a couple pieces of coral, another part of the mission that the ROVs have to, have to undertake here. So they have to remove that coral from the side of the shipwreck and we bring it back to the surface. So a number of tasks here to complete. So Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary ho has hosted this Great Lakes Regional Competition for the last, uh, it's almost been a decade, I believe, here in Alpena, Michigan. Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary is a pretty special place. You can visit our website at thunderbay.noaa.gov or check us out on Facebook at facebook.com Thunder Bay Shipwrecks. In fact, in the next couple days on Facebook, we'll have the winners posted and all sorts of photos from this exciting event here that's brought hundreds of folks from around the region to Alpena, Michigan. Let's get back to the gym where we've got lots of activity going on here in the, the gym. We also have one of the coaches. Um, David Beatty is here, Dr. David Beatty. Hello, you're a coach of which is your team? Uh, we're with the Thunder Bay. Um, Sixth grade team. Sixth grade team. And how did you guys do today? So far, real well. Uh, we're 140 points. What I hear, we're second place. So I'm very Wonderful. proud of the kids. Wonderful. So we don't know yet who the winner is. We have a few more missions to accomplish. Winners will be announced at the end of the day. And so uh, do you think this is important for, for kids today to, to learn? Uh, kids and parents. Um, it's amazing what they have learned. You watch these young children, uh, fifth, sixth graders, do things that you would not have confidence you could do as an adult. So very proud, very impressed. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thanks for being a part of this, and thanks for talking with me today. Let's go back to the pool and see if we have an ROV poolside yet. Here we are waiting for those ROVs. You know, what they're probably doing right now is either getting their safety check topside with the judges or just getting ready to get in the water. It does, they do have a five minute prep time before they put their ROV in the pool. And it's pretty tense poolside. We've got five teams undertaking missions at the same time. And even with all those teams and all those people, it is pretty quiet in that pool. We've got some very qualified judges in there. Um, anthropology professor John O'Shea, Mar maritime archeologist uh, Kathy Green and Tanai Casserly from Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. And then we have a bleacher full of parents and coaches. Here, here we have an ROV, top right hand of the screen there. Coming in slowly. Oh, and it looks like this is the first time we've seen this in our live broadcast. They are bringing down the lift bag to the mast. This will be great if we get to see this in action. This is one of the, the most exciting missions and one of the hardest. They're bringing the lift bag down to the mast that is leaning askew on the side of the shipwreck. And so what they have to do, it's like a two-part mission here. Very technical and uh, minute maneuvering that these robots have to do. So what they have to do is hook that lift bag on the mast and then fill it with air, that lift bag, and that will lift the mast to the surface. And it looks like they might be succeeding in getting this hooked on there. Oh, you can see that they bumped the shipwreck as it moved a little bit there. And they've got a powerful light. And so the ROV operator, the pilot, is not allowed to talk to the tether handler. You'll see that the, oh, did they do it? Is it hooked? <gasps> they did it. They lifted the mast from the shipwreck. Mission completed. That was awesome to see. Pretty cool thing to see there. So let's see, what will they do now? So now their next mission is probably to remove that coral. We'll watch the pool just a few more seconds and then we'll head back into the gym and talk with an Alpena High School instructor, Mr. John Capeless. Welcome, Mr. Capeless. Thank you for visiting with me today. So tell me about your team. Okay, Alpena High School, uh, it, there's a little history there. We used to have a team 
and the staff members who were running that team were unable to continue. So it's been languishing for a few years. We've, we've been without a team for at least two years, maybe three, and some students, really a grassroots effort, they came to me and said, please, Mr. Capeless, we really want to have a team. So we threw this together really at the last minute. We've only been working for about five weeks. Oh, wow. Five weeks is not a lot of time to prepare an actual working underwater robot. No, it's not a lot of time at all. So that was our biggest hurdle this year. Um, you know, we, we've been adapting and adjusting all through the process and even at this point we were just now last night ready to go uh -huh. and of course you know on the the actual day of the event if you haven't had time to practice with all of your equipment things go wrong so we had we had some hurdles today right and so how did, how did the students feel the students felt great in in terms of the fact that this was a learning experience they they have a great foundation that they built this year and they can build up from here next year I mean we'll see how we turn out in the end they were able to accomplish tasks in the pool and they're very proud of what they were able to do I was most proud of the fact that they looked like naturals driving their ROV they, they maneuvered they looked like they were in complete control in the water awesome so what what sort of skills do you think these are, are teaching our students today and also what like principles Critical thinking and problem solving skills are the most obvious. Uh, obviously they need to know science, they need to know some engineering uh, skills, the, the, the hands-on application of here, here's the, here are the principles, now put it into practice. But the, the great thing about the ROV competition is they have to constantly monitor and adjust and, and make adjustments to improve their performance. And so they really, they're forced to, to think about what they're doing and, and why something is working or not working. And then, and then they're forced to problem solve when they, when they hit the hurdles. So very real world simulation. Absolutely, absolutely. Teamwork is another big component. And of course, that's what they, they, they tell, as a, as a high school teacher, they're telling me that they want students to have teamwork, uh, communication skills they want them to have these real-world right. skills right. so it's and very transparent. wonderful and they're learning a little bit about history too this year's theme was um, dive into history which we at the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary we are designated to protect shipwrecks in the area are, are thrilled about and so you have another project going on uh, with the sanctuary right I do yes I, I was fortunate enough to participate in some of your outreach programs and I decided that at the high school we should have an elective class about the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. So I created a, an elective class that covers all aspects of the Marine Sanctuary. We, we start with things like geography and geology, how did the Great Lakes form, and we'll proceed through weather, shipwrecks, marine archaeology, uh, invasive species, all the elements of research that are actually taking place in the marine sanctuary. Oh, that's great. And so we'll be out on the beach recording a shipwreck with Mr. Capeless's class here in the next few weeks. Pretty exciting stuff going on at Alpena High School. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Capeless, for joining me today. And we're going to head back into the pool now and see how that ROV is faring in their mission. So here we are back in the pool. How I, I'm not sure if this is the same ROV. I think it is. And it looks like they are now attempting that marine debris field. So they were just touching one of those bricks. And so they must have a device on the end of their ROV there that allows them to test. It takes a lot of, of patience and skill to drive, to pilot one of those ROVs. And they're looking, those pilots are looking through a poolside or top side monitor. So they're seeing, there's a camera fitted to the front of that ROV. And so they're seeing right in front of it. And I imagine that that ROV is now looking to test the sonar and there's a little or maybe looking to, to withdraw some oil and test. There's, there's a lot of missions, a lot, lot to do for that ROV in that short 15 minutes. Oh, well, they might be turning around. Oh, and there's a diver in the left-hand side of the screen. He's keeping a close eye on the activity. So this is the, the final broadcast today for the Great Lakes Regional ROV Competition, the eighth annual. So we've been reporting to you live from Alpena, Michigan in this exciting event here today with with almost 30 teams from around the region do check out our website at thunderbay.noaa.gov 
or check us out on Facebook and, and see the results. We have, we have not decided a winner yet. The students are still undertaking missions. So we do not have a winner yet, but we will be announcing the winner on Facebook. And check your local news tonight. It will definitely be on the news. And also our website. If you want to learn more about ROVs, go to the, the MATE rover website. The MATE is the Marine Advanced Technology Education and they are based in California, and they, they run this in the entire competition. These students here today are qualifying to go to the international competition in Orlando, Florida in June. Two teams from Alpena here today will be heading to Orlando, Florida. And as we wrap up this broadcast, I would just like to thank our sponsors. It, it takes a lot of help for an event like this to, to come off as such a success as we've seen here today. I um, would love to thank the Friends of Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary who help us out with our mission. And thank you to Walmart for being a sponsor and Downtown Scoops and the Ford family and also Ace Hardware. We also have a number of uh, dozens of volunteers here today making sure this event runs smoothly. And thank you to them. And do check us out on Facebook to see the winners. This is Stephanie out for Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary.